listening to AM 1080 KSEO Santa Cruz. It's Tuesday, March 20th, 2018. And as requested as uh, by popular demand, we have Billy joining us. Now, this is... Popular. I was so popular. Didn't I respond uh, first? Uh, first email, right? Yes, you did. That makes me popular, though. So hey, this is not cool. Billy I'm Sunshine. Glad... This is, no, this is, this is a different Billy. This is a different Billy. This one, everybody can relax because this Billy... Am I? Uh, hopefully, I'll be more mellow than the other Billy. He's Billy Sunshine, but somebody said I should call myself Billy Darkness. But I'm not oh. dark at all. I'm going to try to be positive and uplifting. Right. And we're going to have a wonderful time here. I'm terrified of heights. But so I'm happy am I. To so be am I. That's on great. Flight 1080. Because here's the thing about being yes. an airplane: is that if it goes down, you're going down. It's over, son. You're a dead man. Yeah, you don't have to anyways, worry about I'm it. Not you don't have to worry about it. Uh, we open up with music from Steel Pulse. You like that? I, uh, I had to pick I something, know, dude, so I picked I don't know Chant who that, a Psalm. I probably know the song if you play it, but I... I, ju I just did. At, oh, you're playing it. I did. I, I had just played it, but they all... Oh. I mean, I shouldn't talk. They come here locally. They come here a lot, so... Um, but reggae, you know, to me, it sounds a lot... A lot of it sounds the same. There's a lot of the... Yeah, a lot of uh, the tinging of the... Uh, what do they call that? The timbourine? The... Uh, Something like that? I don't know. Uh, but there you go. Steel Pulse, born on this day, Fonso Martin. Fonso, Fonso Martin. Fonso Martin. Uh, yeah, born yeah, on this day, uh, 1956. Related to the Fonz. I don't know. Arthur Fonzarelli. I don't think there's any relation here. But there you go. There's some music. Okay, so today's show is going to be short. We have a, uh, from 6 to 7, we have a special program, the Will and Willie Show. That is Will Durst and Willie Brown broadcasting live from San Francisco. They're going to be taking over at 6 this evening. So, again, it's just you and I, Billy, and cool. the audience at 479-1080. Um, DM at KSEO.com, 2185726. So we've had Chris fill in for us uh, um, already. Uh, last night was Fred um, Fred Weiss. He filled in for us. Or Fred Reese. Fred Reese uh, filled in for us last night. And Billy Army. Billy Army is going to join us for this evening. So, um we have to keep on our best behavior, Dave Michaels, because uh, my mother is listening. Oh, is she really? She really is. Well, she could vote for you. Uh, she could send she... an email to dm at ksu.com. Oh, com. this is a voting a text I have to be good at this? Holy Lord. Well, we're looking for somebody to hire on a permanent okay, basis. So I we see. are looking for somebody that wants a job, and we're having tryouts. If you want to try out, we, we have uh, plenty of spots That's next awesome. week. It's filling in pretty quick, but we have some spots open next week. And, and if not, then the following week we can get you in here. Yeah, so my mother is uh, totally listening. And I told her I was going to be on the radio. She said, last night I woke up at midnight, and they were replaying, I guess it was uh, the owner, Michael's Whirling, and he was mm -hmm. singing, and she loved it. She said she loves to sing, and she, I'm totally serious about this. I'm not really? making a joke. She was wow. uh, into it, and so she likes the singing. Whenever he, the singing, he starts with the singing, whew, man, it's a tough one. I can't... Uh, it's tough. But she likes it, and oh, okay. uh, everybody likes different stuff. Like reggae. You like, see, reggae. Some people don't like reggae. Um, yeah. Some reggae is okay. But, uh, you know, I don't know the names of uh, bands. Uh, Ziggy Marley, is he a good one? No, he's not a good one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that was a good try, though. It's a good shot. Okay, so, um, oh, shoot. You know how I should have opened up? Oh, man. Today's a bad, music for, for, uh, a bad day for music. But the way I should have opened up was this way. You know what that is? Is that uh, Fish Head? Uh, no, that's Keyboard Cat. Keyboard Cat. Keyboard Cat, the YouTube oh, sensation. On YouTube. Uh, passed away, passed away last week. Oh, well, yeah, Bento the Cat passed away last week, but this is not the original Keyboard Cat. The original Keyboard Cat passed away in 1987. His name was Fatso. So this was... Um, His name was Fatso. Yeah, this is Keyboard Cat 2.0. Now... Um, Before yeah. we go on, Dave, can I yes. say something? And sure. that is, I'd like, just like to say this, just like this. I'm Billy Army, and I'm listening. Thank you, Dave. I just had to do that. I, just, I wanted to You're do that. you trying to be funny? No, I, it's for my own entertainment. Just for me, I have to amuse myself uh, only sometimes. So anyways, now here's the thing, Dave. I... Mm -hmm remember listening to you when you were doing the happy hour uh, program with Charlie Friedman. Mm. And that was quite, that was some time ago. Was that, it was, that was, that uh, was quite a while ago. That, that was probably 10 years ago, right? Or right. Eight years ago. And I first heard you guys because I was out at the farm jail. Oh, you I know, I know where you're talking. Yeah, I and know that's how I about. discovered not only Dave Michaels and KSCO Radio. No, that's where but, I discovered KSCO. Oh, is, is that right? Yeah, listen, I, I, totally I was listening to Dave that. Allen, the Nighthawk. 
Really? Yeah, I've, Dave Allen, and, and Dave I was listening on, on Halloween much. night. I turned on the radio be, because I couldn't be with my kids. I was, in, I was over there at the farm, and I listened to... Um, that night they played um, um, War of the Worlds, and then they went to Coast to Coast. It was a great night of entertainment. It was, it was Dave Allen, War of the Worlds, and Coast to Coast. Fantastic night, dude. That, that sounds absolutely great. awesome. It's one of the best nights of my life. Very, very cool. And yeah, so I used to listen for a long time. And at one point, um, and I wanted to play this game also now that I'm on here. Nobody really knows what I look like, hopefully. Uh, and if you do, uh, and call in, don't say anything. Don't ruin it. But here's the thing. Uh, everyone hears people's voices on the radio. And for a long time, I thought Dave Michaels, because I'd listen, uh, listen, listen. i never seen a photograph of him. And at one point, I, I drew a uh, cartoon and I sent it into the show, and I drew, I drew uh, Dave Michaels there, and I drew uh, Charlie Friedman, you know, never knowing what he looked like. And I, I drew Dave, and I saw a picture of him later. But here's the thing. I drew Dave. I gave him blonde hair. <laughs> well, like at least he gave me hair. Because you sounded Shoot, to me it. like a white guy, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like a white uh, dude. Uh -huh. um, and there's well, nothing wrong dude, with that. There's nothing wrong with being a white guy or anything like right. that. But uh, you're not a white guy. No, I'm not. No, no, you're more of a, you're like a Hispanic uh, fellow. Yes. Right. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I just didn't know that. And it was funny. And I sent you that in. And I did give you an ACDC uh, shirt. You like ACDC, yes, right? Yes, yes. Okay, cool. And uh, so I just got that minor thing wrong. So the game we're going to play is let's have people call in uh, later on. And they can call in and describe what they think I look like. And again, it's more, you know, for how, how will, how, and we'll verify it. We will, well, no, are you, we going to have to we're describe gonna you? Have, Am gonna, I going to have to describe you? They're going to call in and they're going to describe what they think I look like. And then at the end of it, you'll have, you'll describe what I look like. And then you'll, you know, but be honest. This is going to be a terrible contest. How, <laughs> <laughs> what, what prize are we going to give away? It's uh, just for fun. We're, we're on here to fun. have fun. Do you have any fun topics, Dave? I do. What's the next fun topic? Well, it's not really fun. It's not a fun one. No, the world's last right white rhino died. Is that fun? That's not a good That's one. Okay. That's not uh, a good one. Here, here, wait. Let's stop. Selena's stop. Stop. I have some ideas. Okay. I put out All a thing right. on Facebook. I said to people, hey, people out there on Facebook, this is Billy Army, your old pal. I'm on the radio. And I said to people out there on Facebook, I said, give us some topics. Yeah, and, we uh, need some couple, material. And people uh, tweeted uh, or they posted on my Facebook wall there a couple of things. There was not many because I don't have very many friends. Um, but it was, uh, they wanted, to, they said one thing you could talk about was, uh, marijuana suppositories. <laughs> and I believe Coleman, Do uh, they have Coleman, those? Coleman suggested this and he works at, he's a security guard at the marijuana, uh, pot, uh, shop uh -huh. in SoCal Village. Okay. And uh, Coleman, if you're listening, I brought it up and I don't know why I did that, but I did. Uh, and here's the other <laughs> thing. Uh, and then, uh, Lorenzo Lentball, after that, she said we could talk about, Male lactation, Let's but I don't want to talk about either one of them, honestly. But yeah, if you male want to, lactation we can, is kind of makes me it's, uncomfortable. No, I don't want to talk about that one. No, no, I told her that's no, no, no. We're not going to do that. But anyways, that was those were some ideas that uh, people put out there. Um, I guess people could call in. Uh, so marijuana suppositories. Apparently, that's a real thing. He would know. He's a security guard. He wow. sees people going made in by and out Coleman, the swag. camping company. No, my friend's name. Oh, his it name is, is the, Coleman. Uh, security guard. His name is Coleman. Oh, I got it. I don't know his last name because, uh, quite frankly, I don't care. <laughs> Marijuana suppositories. All right. We'll Marijuana we'll take suppositories. A, uh, 218 with your text messages. 479-1080 with your phone calls. Okay, so um, let's see. What, what, what else have you been up to, Billy? Tell, tell me some, uh, some more uh, about yourself. Well, people probably don't know this, but I was an uh, actor, and a lot of people know me from years and years ago. Uh, the most famous thing I did is I was in a uh, Toyota commercial. Were you really? With Steve Young. and I played No. The, I was. I played the pizza guy. I came out, and I said, did somebody order a pizza? However, I are said Are you sure? It. Am I sure that I'm me? No, are I'm you sure pretty, that that happened? I'm positive. That I don't that remember happened. that commercial. You don't remember that? No. Um, okay, it did happen, and then I was in some other uh, commercials. Probably the funnest one that I was uh, ever in, as I did a uh, Sunny Delight uh, commercial with this fellow. He played a coach, a football coach, and we were uh, players there, and we were uh, a team called the Anchorage Otters, a horrible football team <laughs> for Sunny Delight. Right, it aired during the Super Bowl season. Anyways, the guy who played the coach in it. Um, is a fellow, he was an actor, I'm not sure if he's still around, an older fellow named uh, Joe Bellin. And uh, he was in a number of films, great character actor, 
Uh, he was in that movie with, uh, not with, it was directed by Mel Brooks, uh, High Anxiety. He played a role in there, and it was cool meeting him. He was actually the president of the uh, Screen Actors Guild in San Francisco for a while, and that was really fun to do that. We had a great time doing that. And so, uh, you know, it's things like that uh, that I used to do. I kind of got out of acting, and I'm uh, getting back into it now and doing some stand-up comedy. I, I heard the guest yesterday, and I have been down to the Poet and Patriot. Uh, I haven't done stand-up there yet. It's very uh, cool that people are, are trying to do uh, stand-up again in this town. For a while, it was completely dead, and it's uh, seeing a bit of a resurgence. I haven't done it at the Poet and Patriot there yet, though, because mm. it's, uh, you know, very, very difficult when there's uh, five people. It's just hard to do, you know, stand-up comedy when there's like five, you know, it's... it's hard. And two of them are the bartenders? Yeah, two of the, yeah, exactly. Two of them are the bartenders, and then like three of them are the other comics going up next. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. That's a tough gig. Four seven nine ten eighty. Um, you want to see what Joe has to say before before we get... Let's hear what Joe has to say. Joe calling from Bonnie Dune. You're in the air. Yeah, hey, uh, my name is Jim, actually. Oh, Jim. But, uh, hey, someone, you know, I had a friend give me one of those marijuana suppositories, and I was looking at it. Heard, uh, well, we'd rather not use it like that. Was there a dirty word? Well, what is dirty? Define dirty. Well, he just wanted to say that because he knows my mother is listening. He's trying to get her all riled up. Is that what he's doing out there? I don't We're know. Get callers calling well, in. Well, you're the one threw it out there. I mean, up. would you rather get calls on male lactation? I would not like to get calls on male lactation at all. But we should have some people, if anybody's listening out there, call in with your ideas and topics because this is KSEO Radio. It's Fly 1080. I'm Billy Army, and your pilot in charge is Dave Michael. The Salinas Police Department, Billy, has identified three suspects wanted for stealing thousands of dollars worth of bras from Victoria's Secret back in January. If you want to see pictures of all three of these oh, women, I saw those pictures. they are posted on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash flight 1080. Yeah, I saw those pictures, Dave, and, I, uh, be, and you posted them earlier. I was going to come in and everything, and uh, you probably would... Did you see uh, the one of Stormy Daniels? No, wait. The lie no, no, detector? No, stop, stop, Holy stop. We got to go back. We got to go back to the uh, these gals because I've seen them on the bus. I ride the bus. You're not really surprised at that, are you, Dave? No. Um, but I think I've seen them on the bus. And I've seen many people. Maybe we could talk about this. Uh, on the bus one time, I was uh, going uh, home from the mall, which is near here at KSEO. And, uh, but uh, at some point, some uh, young fellows got on, and they were removing uh, those tags uh, of, off of clothing. Uh, that you see, like, in J.C. Penney and whatnot. Now, I'm not going to say that they stole these items, but uh, if I'm looking purely, uh, it looked uh, like they were probably guilty. Now, that being said, I was in a moral quandary there as to whether or not I should call the popo, as we say uh, in Watsonville. And I did not, because that would not have helped the situation. But I'm pretty sure those fellows and uh, were doing that. And it seems it's very common these days. A lot of people want to be uh, stealing things and pinching it up. Uh, pinch that and you know, stick that in my pants and whatnot. Right. That probably sounds weird on the radio. That did, that did kind of sound <laughs> weird. 218 uh, dm at KSEO.com. Um, I'm liking this guy, but what's he like politically? Who's that? That's, it's, 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 I don't know. They're anonymous. When you text, it's anonymous. They, they don't leave their name. Politically, what guy? Yeah. Me. You, you. Oh, me. Yeah, you. Oh, oh, a I, comedian I, and politics. Oh, I don't think those go good together. Oh, sure uh, they do. The comedians that I like, boy, there's too much of that going on. And uh, it, it, it really, there really is a lot of that going on. I can't stomach watching a late night uh, comedy anymore, and I was a big fan of uh, Carson. He was fantastic. And say what you, what you will even about Jay Leno. Um, he stayed away uh, being pointed uh, about his politics. We've gotten to the point now where everyone is pointed, I would say, except for uh, Jimmy Fallon on The Tonight Show. So, right. But everybody, like, uh, they're very left and they're very, they hate the president. And that's fine. I think that if you want to criticize the president, that's fine. Jimmy Fallon but is comedy, the one that does The Tonight Show. And, and Jimmy, what's the other? Jimmy Kimmel is Jimmy the one who's, who's a real... Is uh, the host of that other show? Yeah, I uh, I don't watch any of them. Uh, Who's the funnier of the two? Oh, I have no idea. It depends on the person. I uh, I don't know who do I think is funnier. Yeah, I haven't watched either show in a while. Um, I do not think that uh, Jimmy Kimmel is uh, that funny uh, at all. 
I think he has some interesting writers. Um, I don't care for him personally, though, but some people like him. Who do, who do you watch when you, when you watch uh, comedy, when you watch stand-up? Uh, what TV shows do you watch? My favorite uh, stand-up comic working today is Norm MacDonald, and I think he's been probably the best for a long time. If anybody knows who that is, they should call in because I like to hear. There's a lot of uh, Norm, real Norm fanatics out there, so if they want to call in, that would be interesting. Um, TV shows, I have not watched much TV in a while. I've been spending my time living in a cave, writing screenplays that nobody wants to read. Really? Writing screenplays? Yeah. I've wow. Three screenplays no wonder I've, why you're here auditioning uh, written, for a job. Uh, right. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. That's exactly correct. That's tough. And I'm just this year finally entering uh, my scripts into what, there's a couple of big, uh, big time contests here, kids. It's probably actually just all a con anyways, but I'm going to give it a shot. And uh, that's what I, I've been doing. Do we have any more callers? Because I feel like I'm just blathering on like Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> well, you are, but we don't have any more callers, and that's why we have no that's why more we're callers. Just, no, but we got plenty of stuff to talk oh, about. We, right. we, we, we'll right. get into it, man. You. We'll get okay. into it. We got stuff to do. Uh, we got to get to local headlines, and we got to get ready for our six o'clock hour. Um, Will and Willie will be broadcasting live from San Francisco. Be sure to stick around. Check that out. That's Will Durst and the former governor, Willie Brown, the former mayor of San Francisco, Willie Brown. That will or Willie. He's one or the other. That'll be coming up at 6 p.m. Keep it tuned in. KSEO Santa Cruz. We're going out with more birthday music. This time, it is the birthday of Slim Jim Phantom. Born on this day, 1961. Drummer with the Stray Cats. Ready for some news, Billy? Let's do it. I want to hear this news from the infamous and famous Susan Simon. If someone should ask... Tell them you heard it on AM 1080 KSCO. Seven nine one zero eight. You're listening to Flight 1080 KSCO Santa Cruz. Ian Rossiter, drummer with uh, the group Stereo MCs, born on this day. Nobody remembers that group, but this is definitely uh, I don't a cool song. That guy this is a kind of a cool song, though. Uh, this was back was, in the I 80s. Like the groove. I, I dig yeah. that groove. Very yeah, funky groove. Yes, I like funky. more funky. I want more uh, funk. Play more funk. Can you play some Maceo Parker for us? Ooh, I like that stuff. I like that. Fire up some Maceo. 4791, what are we going to do to give away some tickets? i got to give away some tickets. Well, do you have any ideas? We had the idea that people call in and guess what I look like. And whoever gets closest uh, wins them tickets, Dave. Let's do her. Call in. All right, all right. What do I look like? Wait, hold on a second. I'm like, this is what I really sound like. This is Billy Army, and this is what I really sound like. I've been using this uh, fake voice uh, the other t uh, before that, and I just want everybody to call in and guess what I look like. But you can't cheat. You can't be going to Google and Googling because uh, there's photos. Oh, yeah, that, that, that uh, might not work. Don't, nobody cheat it out there. That might not work, dude. Yeah, that probably won't work. Uh, 479 Hey, you know, uh, by the way, I got some phone calls from our listeners up on Highway 17 saying that it's not a jackknifed big rig. It is a jackknifed a uh, pickup pulling a trailer of some sort. The roadway is shut down, though. This is a bad accident on the northbound side just after the summit. Again, traffic is backing up in both directions. Okay, Gray and Soquel calling uh, 479-1080. You're in the air. Hey, did I win any tickets? No. Oh, okay. Uh, that's for a later contest or something? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was going to say uh, two things. One thing it was about the Poet and the Patriot. If you've been down there in the past year, they have maybe 40, 50 people or something, and you can hear the comics from all the way in the pool room. And the other thing I was thinking of since somebody asked... Does that place guest, fit 40 or 50 people in it? 40, 30 to, maybe 30 to 40 people. Yeah, when I was there, it was pretty packed. All right, let's go. Cool. Uh, glad to hear. I'm glad to hear uh, more comedy. The comedy scene, yeah, I'd like to see yeah, more of it. Definitely. I need to get Absolutely. started. Yeah, I need to get started doing that again. Well, since somebody asked you about your politics, I was thinking, well, what about Republican politicians? And I thought the funniest Republican uh, uh, comics or non-comics were uh, Ronald Reagan and uh, George W. Bush. George W. Bush, they used to use his stuff. He didn't purposely write or be 
funny, but uh, Jay Leno used to just use him uncut. And then Reagan, you can't get any more funny than Reagan when he was, like, asking surgeons if they were Republican or not. Anyway, that's all well, I had Well, you know, say. these people are human beings. They obviously have a sense of humor. The reason you don't hear about of uh, a lot of uh, stand-up comedians uh, that claim to be Republicans is because they're in hiding. <laughs> it's not the scene, man. Uh, that's not the uh, bastion. Uh, have you ever worked uh, anywhere other than, than around here? I mean, have you gone, like, over to uh, Texas or Nebraska or anything No, like that no, where? I have not. But I've, uh, you know, heard from other comedians, and I've followed the scene quite well. And, uh, I mean, there's, uh, you know, uh, comedians that lean uh, more conservative. I can't name them off the top of my head. I still think the funniest comedians, though, are those that do not, uh, you know, let that be part of their act or even uh, talk about mm -hmm. it. Uh, it's not really, uh, that's not the most important thing about comedy, I don't think. Uh, comedy should be, uh, in some level, the uh, search for truth. And when you go agendized, I think you're missing um, a bigger part of the pie. Thank you for your call, Gray. 479-1080. You know, um... I would generally agree with that, except one of my favorite comedians is, is dead, is, has been dead for a long time now, and um, Bob Hope. I mean, he would just, just, uh, he would just rip those uh, political jokes, I mean, just right. rapid fire. Bang, bang, that bang, 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 bang. That is true. He was Absolutely. great, too. He was good. But we have to remember also that Bob Hope wasn't, uh, did not start off as a stand-up uh, comedian, and he didn't write most of his material. Really? But he was a great performer. Yeah, he uh, probably no didn't write most it. of his material. A his, lot of those guys have a lot off. of writers, you know, much like uh, Jimmy Fallon has writers. And as we see doing this show today, I mean, if you're doing a show uh, an hour every night, uh, comedy and skits, that's a lot of material to fill every night. Um, and it's not easy. And we could see that uh, with people um, like uh, Jimmy, that other Jimmy, who I don't like. I shouldn't say anything negative about him. Do we have any callers, Dave? We do. Yeah, yeah we do. Oh, we do. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to be taking a call here in a second. So everybody uh, out there, if you're listening, go ahead and call in. You're listening to Fly 1080. I am the guest host for today, this What's evening. What's the number to call? Bill, it's 479-1080. Uh, you got it. 479 John in Watsonville, thank you for your call. You're in the air. Hey, what's up, Billy? I'm making soup. Uh, I just want you to know that uh, comedians are really funny. And what are you going to do about the plastic in the ocean? What am I going to do about it? I'm not doing it. Whoa, easy there, buddy. Thank easy. you for your call, John. 4791080. All of this uh, here, Thinking. you know what the thing is? Uh, they're just, they keep calling in saying uh, them uh, filthy uh, profanities because yeah. my mother's listening. Stop it out there. All right, here's a, here's a serious question for you. For me. Yes, yes, for you. I'm listening. Um, I'm listening. Should should products grown in a Petri dish be allowed to be called beef? So, I mean, beef, should, should it come from a cow or, or um, can it also be grown in a Petri dish? Beef. I don't know. It sounds like a horrifying proposition all the way around. Because uh, the, there's two I groups think... getting ready to go to court right now to battle over the word beef. Oh, I was not the aware beef of this industry, Tell the, us more. The beef industry is suing, um, let's see, uh, the Department of Agriculture, arguing that lab-grown and plant-based products should not be called meat or beef. They should not be allowed to use those terms on their labels. Yeah, you know, it's a sad uh, place that we're getting to that that has to be the case because uh, maybe they uh, do have a point there. And that is, you're going to be calling something uh, beef when it isn't beef. But now we're going right. to get into a world of having to uh, trademark and register. Uh, this is called an orange. This is this. It's going. It's getting uh, too much, man. Too much. Elon Musk. He should have strapped me to the hood of that car. I want out of here, boy. <laughs> Human beings are going off. It's just. It's craziness Strap out there. Meat to the hood of the car. I mean, it's all fine. If they want to grow uh, lab-grown uh, meat or whatever, because uh, to feed people, we have a problem with hunger in the world and all would that. Would you eat it? I would, would not. Would you eat it? I, I wouldn't want to eat it. I wouldn't want to eat it. If I was forced, uh, if I had to, maybe. So, so if they I, slipped I it into you, say you're Slim Jim, you think you're eating a Slim Jim thinking you're eating healthy. Oh, that and sounds And now, now, you're, uh, now you're eating Petri scum. Ah, uh, that doesn't sound good at all. No, it doesn't. I'm not for that. I'm definitely against that. That's my politics. I don't want those scummy meat beef products. <laughs> yeah, no thanks. Pass. <laughs> the association is concerned about the increase of animal-free products that have names like beefless ground beef. 
Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Beefless ground yeah. beef. Yeah, good one. Sounds like Bill Clinton. What is the meaning of the word is? is. The Cattlemen's Federal uh, Petition argues that labels of beef or meat should inform consumers that the product is derived naturally from animals as opposed to an alternative uh, protein such as plants or artificially grown in laboratories. Huh. Sounds horrifying. The CEO of Beyond Meat says it's time to rethink the definition of meat. Yeah, he needs to rethink a lot of things. <laughs> wow. You know, it, it seems like it's kind of a petty issue, but that, that's pretty serious stuff, right? Uh, that is very serious stuff, absolutely. But we need to feed people, and we got to make those Slim Jims. Because Randy, the macho man, is not around anymore. Who's going to replace uh, macho? Wait, who's up on the wrestling um, scene um, these days? Um, what's that wrestling? guy? John Cena. John Cena. Is that the guy who's got a head like a peanut? I don't know. He's got a crew cut. Oh, yeah, that's him. That's yeah. definitely him. He's buff, though, man. He could, like, uh, tear your head off with his pinky finger. Yeah. So, whoosh, that's it. It'd be over. Yeah. I think he's... Uh... Is anybody... We still have any callers, huh? I can't mm -hmm. believe we don't have any callers. That is no, such no a No callers. Shame. I wonder if... Um, uh, well, I have some topics that we could talk about. Sure. For a while, you guys were uh, live streaming on YouTube, I we believe. Were. How did that go? That did not work out too well, or was this? Uh, it turned tough? out to be a bigger pain in the butt than it was worth. Right. Uh, right. Yeah. Mostly yeah, because yeah. of, of um, rules using music online versus using them over the air. They're, they're oh yes, and they uh, definitely are different. Yeah. Yeah. There's been a lot of. I've looked into YouTube recently. Um, they recently changed their algorithms. A lot of people, this is sort of a uh, big uh, news online. A lot of people are talking about it, and that is that their algorithms are changing. They're also demonetizing a lot of channels, and it's turning into a how, real what does that free mean? speech how, how, how issue. Does, how, how does that work out? What does that mean? Well, anybody on YouTube can have a channel. I mean, as you know, KSU has, has a channel. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you're putting videos out there and, and you're tagging them and people search them and you're getting a number of subscribers, reviewers, hopefully, and you're, you're gaining viewership and uh, time. And a lot of people that uh, have made the cut, YouTube requires, let's say you needed like a thousand subscribers, a certain number of hours before you can monetize your channel. Well, at this point, YouTube has a lot of people out there, a lot of channels. And uh, a lot of people are vlogging, vlogging, doing videos where they're just driving to different locations. Um, there's a one channel that only does uh, uh, Disneyland videos, this couple. And so their channels are monetized and they also get people watching their channels and, you know, sending in them uh, tips and Patreon. And what's happening with YouTube now, though, is it's getting a bit uh, out of control, all of the uh, online stuff, probably having to do related to the uh, Trump issue and what have you, whether or not that's real. I don't really want to get into that. But they have changed their algorithms, and they're making it very, very difficult uh, going forward for new people to get in uh, into YouTube and get any sort of traction. Uh, their new algorithms that they just came up with, it amounts you have to have about... 10,000 hours in one year, uh, people uh, listening before you even consider to uh, monetize your channel. So they're really squeezing out wow. what would be uh, new people coming into uh, trying to create YouTube channels. It's a bit of a shame, and it's turning into a uh, free speech uh, sort of issue online. You don't hear much uh, about it in the mainstream uh, media, which is not surprising, I guess. Four seven nine one zero eight zero two one eight five seven two six. We're sitting here with Billy Army. He's filling in for. Uh, for today, again, we're looking for people to help out with the show. Billy, come on is down to the station. Today's guest. We're hanging out today. You can come down and hang out too with the beautiful, fabulous, yeah, wonderful let it Dave. Let call Michaels. in better. You don't want these guys coming in here. We don't want to come. Yeah, no, okay. not some of these guys. Nobody come down here. Never mind. Forget that. <laughs> Nix that. Hit the dump button on me, Dave. Let's see who's up next. Uh, Daddy Bird, thank you for your call. You're in the air. Hi, I have. Um, I've been listening to the Red Army Chorus uh -huh. on YouTube. Uh -huh. The Red Army you know Chorus. I'm not familiar, haven't heard of those, uh, that organization. Well, it's world famous. It was the singing and musical group that was part of the Red Army, the Soviet Army. And then they switched over to the Russian Army, and then they, I think they disbanded about three, three years ago. But they actually were quite talented. They'd sing and they could dance and do all kinds of stuff. I'm probably not going to check them out. Thanks for calling. 479-1080. DM at KSEO.com. They could sing and dance. The they Russian, Russian uh, Army. What do you say? The I'm Russian not sure. Band, you know, uh, 
people are still calling up and talking about Russia, huh? Um, people are real excited about Russia. Uh, I don't want to say anything about Russia. But I will say this. When I was uh, during the election cycle, I would watch a lot of uh, YouTube videos. They'd live stream live news. People are pirating uh, the streams and whatnot. And you see people in the chat rooms. There was a lot of Russian uh, bots. There was a lot of Russian text in those um but here's the problem they say it's uh you know had something to do with the election americans don't read russian people just saying four seven nine uh ten eighty two one eight five seven two six can i be a comedy writer for your show dave please uh you should that. totally sure. tell him that he can send in yes, i want to yes. hear i want hey text in in the next 10 minutes we want three jokes and I'm going to do I'm going to tell them on, on air, so right. send them in. If you're any good, let's see your cojones, boy, son. Well, lady, if, if woman, American cheese is man. processed cheese food, then lab meat should be processed meat food. That's disgusting. That is disgusting. Don't they already have that? Processed that's hot dogs. <laughs> that's what I was going to say. Yeah, that's a hot or dog spam. or bologna or something. Uh, <laughs> There's nothing more delicious. My friend Andre hopefully is listening. I'll tell you this about bologna. There's uh -huh. nothing more delicious. Take a piece of bologna, you fry it. And it is tasty good. Oh, I love it. It starts that. to bubble up. You cut it. <laughs> right. You cut it so that it doesn't, yes, doesn't curl up like that. That's correct. Yes. Right. You know, I told somebody about that. I think it was Ben, one of my, my other uh, co hosts here. And I, I told him, Have you ever had a fried bologna sandwich? And, and he looked at me like I was weird. He had weird. no idea, right? He had no idea, dude. If you've never tried that, man, you don't know no, what you're missing. No, it's delicious. I remember one time I uh, made some fried salami for somebody that never had it. And they were just blown away. They were like, Fried salami, this is the best thing ever. It's just so delicious and tasty. The only thing that can make fried salami any better is if you uh, dip it in some blue cheese dressing. Then you want to take fried a nap. Fried salami is gross. That, 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 oh, that sounds no, gross. no, it's tasty. You know what I tried this weekend was um, at, at, uh, at a marina bake sale. You know, the marina high school had a bake sale. Fried, deep fried Oreos, which was amazing, deep man. Fried I have Oreos. never tried those before. That is amazing. I would imagine, wow. and I'm just imagining, wow. but do they get a bit uh, smooshy? No, they didn't. Actually, they did not. Really? They yeah. retained, the, the outside uh, was nice and crispy. It was like a donut, like an Oreo cookie inside of a donut. A nice, oh, crispy donut. Oh, it sounds great, it sounds man. tasty. It sounds oh. really good. Four seven nine one zero eight zero two one eight five seven two six. I'm getting hungry. How about you, Billy? Well, I'm getting pretty hungry, too. I think that maybe later after Diner? I take off, I'm going to head on down to the Santa Cruz Diner oh, with yes. uh, Dave Michaels. Yes. Do they have, they have spam at the Santa Cruz Diner, don't they, I think? They do. I think they do, now that you mentioned it yeah, you know, earlier. Yeah, I actually probably, do like yeah. spam, to tell you the truth. Do you That's really? a very large staple in Hawaii. People yeah, I know, eat spam I know. all the time. I know. If you prepare it right, it's real good. You just like the salami thing. You just cut off a hunk. You fry it up. Put a little bit of uh, mayonnaise on the side, a little bit Yo. of mustard. Mix it together and uh, dip it in there. But anyways, that sounds disgusting. The Santa Cruz <laughs> Diner... Is. It it's not disgusting. disgusting. I've been right. to the Santa Cruz Diner, and it's fantastic. Yes. Uh, Tuesday's dinner special is salmon italiano, and that is salmon served with fresh tomatoes and basil in a white wine and garlic sauce over fettuccine noodles. Nine ninety nine. the special tonight at the Santa Cruz Diner. That sounds delicious. That is. What time are we going to... better than what you were going to make. No. Well, that's, you know, that's for later. That's when I get home that's later. That's when you get life. drunk. That's, that's like a... I don't drink anymore. Drunk not sleep. after the farm. I learned my lesson the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> the farm taught you a lesson, huh? It taught me, yeah. I mean, it wasn't that bad out there, but nobody wants to get... Here's the thing about all these people that get busted for things, and, like, uh, I don't know, people seem to be calling them white people. Uh, but anyways, uh, they get away with crimes or whatnot because they're lawyers. Here's the thing. You spend a night in jail, it's good for you. You learn something. And I really do mean that. You know, it's funny in a way, but it's true. It, it is. It is. Oh, yeah. Um, it'll open your eyes. More perspective is always good on life. People have very limited perspective. You've got to broaden your horizons, and you can do that by calling in Flight 1080. Or by going to jail. <laughs> broaden your horizons. 479 1080. All right, let's see who's up next. Uh, Andrew calling from Monterey. You're in the air. Hey, guys. This is actually a better Billy. Um, probably my favorite Billy I've ever heard on this show. Well, I appreciate <laughs> that. Somebody was joking, said I should call myself Billy Darkness, but I don't want to be, yeah. uh, you know. I want to be uplifting, positive, more positivity on KSCO Radio, our favorite radio station. That's what we need. And it is my favorite radio station. I listen all the time. My mother will attest to that, hopefully, because she listens you know, all the time. You know, too. one thing you can actually learn in jail is uh, how terrible human beings can treat one another because of how you're treated in, a, in, the, in the holding cell at a jail. Like, it's cold. There's no pillows. There's no blankets. It, you're sleeping on cement. I mean, it's ridiculous, but 
Um, back to my other point um, about the YouTube thing. They 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 they're silencing um, uh, opposing views because YouTube TV wants to take over the mainstream media business. I think you, you know, might be correct about that. My cable, my, go ahead. Cable's going out, and YouTube is going to be the platform for the internet age of television. Right. I believe that is probably correct and true. And with these new algorithm changes, my take on it is I think you're going to see in three or four years, they're going to get bought up by another media company or they're going to drastically change their business model. Absolutely. And I think you're correct I mean, about that. Yeah. They're failing already. So it would be really easy to acquire YouTube at this point. And um, as far as uh, the meat thing goes, what do you call those um, vegan like chicken nuggets that aren't chicken? Are they not allowed to use chicken anymore? The name chicken? Because the vegan thing goes the same way, right? It's a, yeah. A, a food, like I don't know what they would call them. It's like, you know, yeah, so so they're not just suing those companies. They're also suing all these vegan companies using the word chicken and beef. Um, wow. So uh, you, you there's can't... a twist on the story you probably might not have realized. You can't do that, can you, Billy? You can't take the chicken out of chicken nuggets, can you? I Thank didn't you for even know Andrew. they had chicken in them to begin with. I guess they do. I saw something on the internet uh, where they were making chicken nuggets and it looked like some pink bubble gum coming out of a tube. I was like, uh, I mean, granted, it's delicious. I'll probably eat it again, but it looked nasty, you know? <laughs> it's like when you see somebody make the sausage. Like, that phrase came about for a reason. <laughs> yeah, like, it did, boy. You don't want to see that. Uh, Keith, thank you for your call. You're in the air. Yeah, how you doing, guys? I got a couple quick riddle jokes I just throw, thought I'd throw out there to make the day a little brighter. Okay. Uh, what's the major difference between God and a traffic cop? Yeah, you take this one, Billy. I'm not good. At, I'm not a smart man. I'm a little like Forrest Gump. <laughs> well, know. the major difference is God doesn't think he's a traffic cop. Um, what do you call a Hispanic without a car? Um, my neighbor. I don't Joaquin. know. Joaquin. That's horrible. <laughs> Next. Oh. <laughs> What's the difference between your ex-wife and a tornado? You met my ex-wife? I've never even been married. Uh, now, what's the difference between ex your ex-wife and a tornado? What is it? Not much. They both scream when they're coming, and after they're gone, so is the house. I've heard versions of that joke right. before. Uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you for, hey, at least you fun. tried. It's thank you bad. for your call, Keith. That guy should win, a, that guy should win the contest. Um, I mean, I have a thirty-dollar gift certificate to give away playing, to the uh, song, and then have somebody call in with the uh, name of the song. Okay, we could do I'll that. We'll a... do that in the next hour. All right, sounds good. We're um, going to do that in the we next hour. Get some time to, to, uh, still, get nobody has called in here. to uh, describe oh. what I look like. That's oh. anybody out there with a sense of humor can call up and just describe you. And be, I look like say I look like a myriad of things. Two one eight five seven two six almond milk also got sued by the dairy industry. Again, because of the name. I did not know that. Yeah. Well, now you do. Now you do. There's a lot of ripplings going on, it seems like, with mm. uh, people like Monsanto and all that. We need to redefine every single nut and seed and what is a, what is this? Is a piece of beef called this or is it called that? Dave is looking a little spaced out. It looks like we might have some uh, accidents there on <laughs> no, the No, no, no. I'm, I'm looking at jokes and I'm, I'm, these are terrible jokes. I mean, terrible shouldn't, shouldn't jokes, jokes be funny? Well, not necessarily. Uh, what I mean, what do the guys say when the houses landed on them? Get off me, Holmes. That's a good one. That's that, not bad. That is terrible. That's a Watsonville you joke. You don't tell those kind of jokes when you're I up. don't. No, I don't do one-liners uh, necessarily. Henny Youngman? He, Henny Youngman for his time was, was hilarious. Absolutely fantastic. And then, of course, who doesn't love the, you know, I just posted a thing on my Facebook of the great Rodney Dangerfield, the master of uh, the one-liners in many ways, a uh, great insult uh, comic. I wonder if uh, we have any callers on the line now. I think everybody just doesn't like that me. That wants to take a... We have, we have callers, but the... We do? Yeah. yeah. Of cool. Can yeah. we take a call? Sure. Let's sure. see what they got to say. Maybe there won't be no jokers. David and Ben Lomond, you're in the air. Hey. Yeah, I've been sitting here uh, subconsciously mulling over his looks as I was checking my Facebook. And uh, it came to me... I think, I think he looks like Owen Wilson without the broken nose aspect. But he sounds like Napoleon Dynamite. But Good secretly, Lord, I sound like Napoleon secretly, though, you want to, Yeah, secretly, though, you want to be like, you see yourself like as a Vietnamese, like, call girl. I see That's myself fun. as a Vietnamese call girl. How did you know that I did? 
this is you've been looking you saw you know yet you went deep into the uh, google search there those pictures were back from 1992. he doesn't look like that i've anymore, changed David. i'm not like that anymore <laughs> oh let's keep it up that's a good look it's coming back probably retro <laughs> all right thank you for your call david four seven nine one zero eight zero Two one eight five seven two six with your text at my, messages. Uh, that guy looked at a picture of me wow. called in and saw. He's pretty close. Oh, you're looking up pictures of me now too, huh? Uh, so one guy says you're white, middle aged, and balding. I don't consider myself necessarily be white. I'm not middle aged, and I'm certainly not balding. So they're off uh, on all three of those. They are incorrect. Two one eight five seven two six. But it leads me to believe that people think this guy, somebody out there, thinks I'm a, a I sound like a middle aged bald dude. I say Army is shorter, five foot six, not chubby, but not thin. Thinning hair, probably light brown. Totally wrong. Totally liar. <laughs> He's lying about you, Billy. Damn. Him. All right, Dave is taking a call. If anybody's out there, you got to tune in to Flight 1080. I am uh, just co-host, uh, co-piloting the show with Dave today. Four seven nine ten eight. Let's see what Mickey has to say against my better judgment. Mickey, you're in the air. Hi guys, I have a quick joke for you. It's, it's not a joke, it's but it is. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Well, if your husband is ignoring you and won't do what you ask, you say. That you will promise him a raise if he empties the trash. That is not a bad one. It's not a good one, but it's not a bad one. We need more like that. At least that's a more uh, positive. Uh, I didn't she even, tried. Honestly, I didn't even understand the joke. Four seven nine ten. There were too many things flying two rules, around. Two in rules here. to jokes. One, you should be able to understand them, and two, they should I, be funny. Uh, when you the do funny part them. is the most difficult part, though. Uh, line two, it's, Billy Sunshine, you're in the air. Oh, it's the two Billies. Don't cross the streets, oh, Billy Sunshine. Don't Army, cross the streets. you got to change your name. you got to change your name. You can't be another Billy. So he's got no, this, no, like, no. Hold on a seat. second. Wait, we're going to argue about this one because what is the name on your birth certificate? Is it actually Billy or is it William? It's William. Mine's Billy. I win. Hang hey, no, up no, on him, Dave win, Michael. KSEO, Santa Cruz, Monterey, Salinas. Seven nine one zero eight zero. You're listening to Flight 1080 KSEO Santa Cruz. This song released in 1987. Go on, girl. The name of the song. Rock San Chante, the artist. Uh, absolutely one of my favorite. Mm, I don't know one of my favorite rappers, but that's one of my favorite songs ever. Rock San Chante. Um, that was awesome. That was such a good one. I love that kind of music. Dave, you've been playing oh, some really great dude, music dude, lately. That, that's really good stuff. That is excellent stuff. It totally reminds me of when I was about 12 or 13 years mm -hmm, old, mm -hmm. and I would go out to the Watsonville airport, and they had jazzercise. And I'd go with my friend's mom, and they'd all be in that, that room jazzercising it out. Oh, that would be one of the songs they'd play, Smush It and all that. And we'd be outside, you know, getting into trouble. Right. Being young uh, men that we were. But I love that stuff. Oh, that's that's good stuff. Uh, she has a special coming out on Netflix Friday. There'll be a special called what is it? Roxanne, Rock, Roxanne, Roxanne, and it is a biopic of uh, Roxanne Chante. Now, a lot of people don't know. They calls this a little known hip hop pioneer, and I'm like, what are you talking about, dude? Little known. Well, Holy crap, dude, to if you be know honest, anything about to hip hop. To be honest, when I looked, because uh, I did, I looked, uh, you posted earlier today, mm -hmm. and I liked that song. I know that, but I wasn't aware of her other work and all this type mm -hmm. of stuff. And it's, so it's interesting, that film, it looks very fascinating. It is. You know, like people who who, uh, who know or maybe don't know, there was a group called UTFO that came out with a song called Roxanne, Roxanne, and it was about this girl who was uh, kind of stuck up and kind of turned down all three guys, didn't, you know, didn't give them no play, just, just kind of turned them, uh, turned them away. So this girl came out with a song called Roxanne's Revenge. I believe it was kind of a response to that song. I see. And um, that started off a whole, a whole, just a whole bunch of great music. She was part of the Juice Crew at the time, and I believe that was first priority. Or no, it was A and M. Uh, I'm not familiar with uh, the Juice Crew. One of the those. Juice Crew um, had in it Marley Marl 
and um, MC Shen as well, which was a fantastic. MC. Oh, and also um, Biz Marquis, I think, was part of the Juice Crew. Biz Marquis, of course. Yeah. Everyone loves Biz Marquis, absolutely. Uh, the Juice Crew, though, uh, part of that, that whole history of, of hip-hop. Just great stuff, dude. Great stuff. Roxanne Shante will have a special on Netflix this Friday if you want to check it out. It's going to be called Roxanne, Roxanne. All right, so we get to awesome. the phone lines? Let's get to those phone, right, let's lines. Get to the phone lines. We're in the air, Who Flight is, uh, 1080. Oh. Dave Michaels and Billy Army, we're in the air, and uh, we got a caller. You push that button. Did I press a button? I did not press a button. Who is this? Who is this? I are you there, sir or ma'am, lady? Anyone? Hello, am I on? You are on. Am I on? Hello. Hello, we're listening. Am I on? You are on. Oh, I am. Okay, this is Mickey again. You didn't get my joke about the raise. Uh, would you like to repeat it? Yes. If I told my husband, this is what women should do. If their husband is not paying attention to them and if he's ignoring them, you say to your husband, I will give you a raise if you take out the trash. I'll give you a raise. Well, give you a raise. that's a real good one. Right, Dave Michaels? Here on KSCO Radio. Okay, there's Flight another one, and I went. I, I had to cancel my dentist appointment. Eighty. Hold on a second. I just got to make sure that the audience is listening. Okay, I'm listening. There they are. Okay. Okay. Do you let me repeat the raise thing? No, please. Okay. Then if you go to the dentist and you have to cancel your appointment, he was going to give you because you had a cavity, but you had to cancel it. You say, "I hope I didn't hurt your filling." Now, see, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's for uh, that's a good one. Uh, you could use that on your routine, your next routine. I'm gonna use it. I've, thank I'm you, stealing thank you for the call, now. Mickey. I'm, I'm going to pull. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna steal that. No, I'm not. Do we have any more callers, Dave? Who else is out there that wants to call us? Yeah, up? we do. And, have more uh, excellent. Do we have to get to them? We, we should. Do, should. Let's do another one because we got to get right, those yeah, tickets these away. Can be good. Uh, Jerome calling from Salinas. You're in the air. Hey, Jerome, what's, what's going on? Hey, I can't believe you put Mickey on twice in a row. That's terrible. Well, I Is thought Susan she said Simon Mickey. Okay? Oh, Nikki. Wow. Is Susan Simon okay? She's okay, yes. Okay, good. Uh, Susan Simon is doing just fine back there. She's got a, a big gulp now. And she's, she's going to be just did, fine. Did you guys hear the town hall news? That chick was way too jovial talking about some really dark stuff. The town hall news? I did not catch I that. Missed I missed that. Yeah. Unfortunately. At the top of the hour? Uh, yeah. All right, quick joke. What goes, click, did I get it? Click, did I get it? Click, did I get it? Ooh, I, like I have a one. feeling it's a trick question. Click, did I no, it's a blind guy with a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> That's you, shouldn't laugh. you shouldn't laugh at disabled jokes. That was jokes. a funny no, one. You shouldn't laugh at people who are disabled, Billy. I mean, isn't what that do like... you mean, disabled? He's a blind man trying to solve the Rubik's uh, puzzle. Yeah, There's nothing wrong a... with that. I think it's a little I bet you if we looked on YouTube right now, we could find a blind man solving the Rubik's Cube puzzle, and he wouldn't feel bad about himself one bit. He'd be uh, oh, yeah? stoked. Blind man. we could. Dave's looking it up right now. Google it. <laughs> Get those fingers It's, it's there. For blind man Rubik's Cube. Okay, blind man. There we go. Does he Holy solve cow. It? Dude, look, he in does? five seconds, he solves it in five seconds. All right. Days. How does he know go. that he solved it, though? Because there's people out there that they break the algorithm, the system, Dave. They cheated it. They got, like, uh, NASA people that go on that. <laughs> this guy didn't even match one square. Oh. Well, <laughs> I'm not watching the video. So terrible. I might be wrong that's about horrible. that. horrible. Whoever posted that video is going to burn in hell. But there probably is a way. There's a way. As a matter of fact, someone I know just recently on Facebook uh, posted something saying, this is how you solve the Rubik's Cube. And it was some, uh, you know, left and then around and all this. So apparently there is a formula to it. And if you were a dedicated uh, blind fellow out there, I bet you, you can solve the puzzle. It's amazing what they can do with the Rubik's Cube uh, these days. Those people that solve it in like five seconds, you've seen them on YouTube uh, probably, or at least I have. I sit around doing a lot of uh, Googling and YouTubing because that's the future of the world is the YouTube and the Googling. The television, for the most part, that's a uh, dying medium. And I'd like to hear uh, somebody call in and save me from my blathering. No, it's okay. Four it's seven nine ten eighty. You know, I'm going to post this video of the blind man solving the Rubik's cube. That is one Did of the really funniest things. Did you really find it? Uh, yeah, so that's one of the funniest uh, things I've right. ever seen. Well, that's awesome. Let's counter that with uh, Billy Sunshine. Oh dear, Billy Sunshine, you're in the air. So my uh, my one of my best friend's daughters 
uh, is a person who travels all over the world competing in Rubik's Cube because she's a girl. She's really popular, and she does it, like you said, in like five or seven seconds. Yeah, that's yeah, amazing. amazing. It absolutely yeah. is amazing. And, and like a Japanese company wants to sponsor her, and she's like 14 years old. Oh, anyway, that's awesome. uh, a couple of things. First of all, David, my friend, yes. it's not biopic, it's biopic. You know, biography, well, whatever, picture. Billy. Okay. No, no, well, I'm just trying. I, I just put the emphasis on the wrong syllable. You, David. I know, Billy. I'm not trying to embarrass okay, you. My life. I want you to get it right, that's all. Okay, thank you, Billy. Now, uh, Billy <laughs> Army. Yes, sir, I'm listening. I'm um, listening. You know, first of all, why not just be, like, you know, a one name guy, be Army? What a cool name that is. Uh, <laughs> he does not want you to use You have a real problem with me using my own name. Why? There's so many Billies around here already, too, right? There's uh, you know, Absolutely. The that's my point. Name. We have so There's many too already. Many. You know? There's too many. That's right. Maybe I could change uh, my name. Well, what's a, what could I change my name to? Uh, just I have to Army. Have a different, just no, no, Army. No, no, no. <laughs> just be one name. That's the, the coolest thing you can do. This is like, Army. You're is, calling. Is, I got to sound yeah, more gruff right. you know, hey, you're, on the, you're on the phone with Army. This yeah, is Army. exactly. You're calling. What are you saying? See you later. You know, now, you really were named Billy on your, uh, originally on your... That is correct. It is on is so my cool. birth certificate, and my mother is listening, like I said earlier. That is very cool. Now, have people tried to call you Bill, and what, uh, do you tell them not to? They have tried to call me Bill when I went to, you know, junior high and high school. Hopefully, we'll talk about junior high with Dave, because we both went to Rome. Is that when you got into the knife fight? No, sir. No. But anyways, uh, yeah, so uh, Billy, and when I was in uh, school, they called me Bill, and I had another friend that was named Bill, and at that time, I just kind of went with it. It shortens it up, and you have nicknames when you're, you're younger, you know? But as I got I, older I, later, I decided to go by Billy, but then it was weird because I was, I was older. But I why say did I'm you old. decide to go by Billy when you were older? Probably because I'm a crazy person. Uh, <laughs> because Billy does, in, in, in fact... Um, it says a lot about a person who chooses Billy over William or Bill. I would say I that think. is probably probably true. Yeah, yeah. What do you think, Dave? What? Never thank, mind. Thank you for your call. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for your call, Billy four seven nine one zero. I'm I'm just so guiltily watching this this blind guy. You like that, huh? That is the funniest thing I have ever seen. I that didn't is so even know that funny. that existed out there, but I just thought that it, it was a possibility. Two we live in a world, uh, such a big world of uh, positivity and people out there. Should I read this? Uh, is it a good one? I don't know. I, mean, I can't know till I read it. Read it, Dave. Boy, have you ever had to pee in the morning and then finally you go to the restroom and then you let it go barely? No, 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 no. No, no, that's tainted. Whoever sent that in, um, you're tainted. We don't want none of it. 218-5726-DM at KSEO.com. No, just kidding. We want you to send in... Actually, you know what? Send your most wild, extreme texts right here to Flight 1080. Well, I can't even. I the can't read them. I can't use them. Oh, then don't do that. But they could send them in for me later um, to my email address. I'll read them tonight to my cat for me. Two one eight five seven two six DM at KSEO dot com. I'm going to check those out later. Let's get to the phone calls and see who's up next. Andres calling from Royal Oaks. You're in the air. Hey, that blind guy doing the Rubik's Cube, he's cheating. He's using uh, the Google Glass thing. So he the Google Glass thing? <laughs> <laughs> the Google Glass. So, Billy, Billy Sunshine is, 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 uh, sounds pretty insecure about somebody else having a, a Billy. Yeah, he doesn't like that yeah. idea. No, nah, he's not a big uh, no, fan of that. That, that, that. The sound of him going into the top of the hour near the last, last segment, it, just, it, it sounded almost like a, like a fat kid fighting over a donut dude you don't really need it why are you even fighting over it <laughs> but i have <laughs> i have a i have a joke uh two jokes i get time for it but the first one here goes uh what's um what's got four legs green fur and if it falls out of a tree and that lands on you it'll kill you uh, um, i have no I idea don't i don't know don't know a, a pool table a pool table. That sounds like some that kind of weird. Some sort of that sounds like a strange like uh, Grand Theft Auto mod that you'd find while you're playing online. And all of a sudden, table. a pool table falls from the sky out of nowhere. Thank Under you for the call on this four seven nine ten eighty. What was that joke? What's that? What did he just said? What is? A, he said uh, has four, green, legs, four legs, green fur, and will kill you if it falls from a tree. Falls from a tree. Pool table. Pool table. 
Or you can, I would have never you guessed can change that. It. You can make it really uh, tainted up real fast and say that it was a person, right, wearing a blank, falling out of the sky. Fill it in. It's comedy by numbers I, I, here. I like Billy the, Army on I like the pool table joke. That, that's pretty good. That wasn't bad. It was pretty uh, good. Juanita, thank you for your call. You're in the air. Okay, this is an original joke. I made it up just a few minutes ago. Okay, this drunk guy is parked at the KSU radio station parking lot. And the cop comes by and he asks the drunk guy, What are you doing here? It's nighttime. And the drunk guy says, uh, I'm going to go shopping. And the officer says, Why? You can't shop here. And and then the drunk guy says, Yeah, I'll look at the letters up there. It's Costco. <laughs> That's actually not a bad one. That's an original one, right? Yes. Yeah, that's not bad. Dave, Dave got I distracted. Missed it. He I missed, missed it. it. I was watching the blind guy solving the Rubik's Cube. That was good, though. That was very what, what, good. What is it? I'm not going to. You missed out. It's too late now. You missed it. It was a good one about KSCO radio, though. It was excellent. A guy being outside, uh, drunk. Oh, the cop comes up, says, what are you doing? She made a joke. I'm shopping. He says, I'm shopping to the cop. And the cop's like, well, what do you mean you're shopping? And he looks up and sees the KSCO and says, I'm at Costco. I'm at Costco. That's that not is bad. pretty good. It's that's not bad. Wow, you know, she that, did it better than I did. That's great. That, that's original you. and that's, that's local. What I'm saying. Exactly. Wow, that's fantastic. Original and local. It's hard to write material, and I should know because I'm terrible at it. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm not too bad. I'm just on the fly today, but we're just having a good time here. Right, yeah, we're today. just having a good time. I'm surprised that nobody's called in that I know out there. Somebody that I know out there should call in if you're listening, and uh, say hello and say hello to the wonderful Dave Michaels on Flight 1080 KSCO 2185726. Two, Why did Helen Keller wear tight pants? Oh no, dude, never uh, mind. Never well, mind. Should, uh, go on is... to a different topic. Maybe having people uh, with these jokes or you know, I, I try. It's, I'm kind of disappointed because I trust the people not to write bad words. And then they don't and then, follow and any of it. No, no, they don't follow none of that because no. they don't care. They're just out there living their lives, going hog wild. They're down there pounding margaritas at cilantros. They're out on the wharf sucking yeah. back pina coladas and shrimps, shrimp scampies. Four seven nineteen eighty. Let's see who's online next. Paul calling from Watsonville. You're in the air. Yes. Uh, what do you get when you release a self-driving car before it's ready? Um, yeah. Remember, we talked about that last week, and it's already come to the question that they uh, had that incident with the self-driving car over at Uber, and the thing to sit back and look at now is, number one, see how many lawyers start popping out of the woodworks. Well, if you've been hit by an autonomous driving car, give me a call. I'll be interested to see that. Number two, I'll be interested to see who actually has liability in this thing, because like I said, I think they're going to try to exclude themselves completely, so... Probably not the best joke, but I thought about that this morning. I said, oh, Dave would be, you know. <laughs> anyway, sorry to bug you. <laughs> All right. Thanks. All right. <laughs> sorry yeah, to bug I, you. I heard something. No, you're doing us a favor. You're calling up with the joke. You're not bugging us. I heard something briefly <laughs> on a periphery about that incident with the Uber car. Yeah, was it a self-driving dude. car? Happened a couple days ago. Yeah. Uh, someone was hit. Yeah. Yeah, it's very unfortunate, but I suppose uh, this type of thing is going to happen going forward in the future if we decide to go that route of having these automated vehicles. It seems highly problematic. My thinking behind it all along has been is they're going to have a hard time getting all the self-driving uh, vehicles out there because of not just this, but uh, insurance claims. For example, what happens when two self-driving vehicles uh, hit each other? Whose fault is it in? It's going to get, I think, very problematic um that's my take on it i could be incorrect what do you think dave I, what nothing dave i think you're not right taking you're, you're probably you're probably right on the money are we gonna give those tickets away what's know. going on with the tickets it mike what do you want <laughs> dave remember a few months ago i was sitting in there and i told you i was working on another project in downtown santa cruz mm -hmm. yes and it related to comedy comedy yes sir well that so Billy Army, you may not have to be playing at the Poet and Patriot much longer because we are in the process and we are in negotiations still of opening the very first comedy club in downtown Santa Cruz. Oh, that would be absolutely fantastic. Where are you guys, uh, yeah. are, you, are you all looking at spots now? Do you have an idea? Because that's, this town really would, uh, it would be great. That would, that would be you fun. know, we have the Crow's Nest and they do a comedy there. Um, that's really the only venue in town. It'd be fantastic. I'm really happy to hear that. That's correct. 
Do you know DNA? I met him once, yes. I was speaking okay. to Dave off air about that earlier. Uh, he was holding an open mic there, I believe, and uh, was there a seascape uh, by the cement ship by Manuel's restaurant. I yeah. forget the name of that uh, bar there. But I went there a few times, and that had a pretty uh, good crowd that showed up. And uh, that was a few years back when he was getting things started, but uh, it's, I'm glad to see things really uh, flourishing. He's, he's, uh, he's my business partner, and we're right now we're looking at the uh, old Radio Shack building in downtown uh, Santa Cruz on SoCal and Ocean. Oh, nice. Very cool. So, right on. Excellent. So, we're in negotiations. We met with council. We're working with PD. So wow. hopefully within the next six, eight months, it'll be, we can have it open. That sounds awesome. Wow, sounds good, Very Mike. Cool. Hopefully Billy doesn't starve in the next six to eight months. He needs a gig <laughs> now, man. Thank you for the call, 479-1080. I thought it was just drunk talk when he came in. No, he's serious. He's talking to city council. Yeah, no. that's wow. awesome. That's very cool. Wow. Juanita, second time. You must have another joke, though. You're in the air. Yeah. Um, what it, this is what MZ said to Susan Simon when he hired her. He said, you're hired. <laughs> All right. That's a good one. That's for, uh, that's for the fans of Four, KSCO Radio that are regular listeners. Yeah, she's got that some KSCO jokes. Thank you for your call, uh, Juanita. 479 1080 DM at KSCO.com. All right, let's head out with some more music from Roxanne Shantae. Again, she will have a special on Netflix Friday. Are you bring so if you want to check that out, uh, Friday, you can check that out. The name of the uh, special is Roxanne Roxanne. Check it out on Netflix Friday. KSCO Santa Cruz, we're going to break for local news and then when we come back we've got a gift certificate to give we're away gonna give to the those Santa tickets Santa. away and right now i'm gonna have a flashback to rolling hills and the young wasted youth that was my childhood oh when you were at rolling hills was it all about uh, linoleum and ghetto blasters man we're not only uh there was a lot of ghetto blasters but the worst part of rolling hills is i don't even know if they do it anymore but taking a shower with all them dudes oh together man, remember dude, that day don't even tell me about oh, that was oh. it, they made you do it and everything KSEO, oh, Santa Cruz, yeah, yeah. local news up next Four seven nine one zero eight. You're listening to Flight Ten Eighty KSCO Santa Cruz. Billy Army is joining me, joining us for this day again. Uh, we are looking for help here on Flight Ten Eighty Two One Eight Five Seven Two Six DM at KSCO dot com. I'll take your votes. We'll take your votes. We've had Billy working with us so far. Uh, Fred Reese also joined us. Chris Spencer joined us, and uh, we've got more on the way. Two One Eight Five Seven Two Six DM at KSCO dot com. Billy, you ready? Yeah. Dave. Okay. So we we did pick a song that we want to use for the contest, right? We did. Okay, so uh, do we should we give them a hint? This is going to be a TV show. Well, you, theme song. You should give them a hint. You're a big. Uh, we shouldn't give away that you're a fan. No, 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 no. It's, uh, it's a TV show, though. It is a TV, a TV show. show. That is correct. Theme song to a TV show to win tickets to what are tickets for? I, I, I don't know. I forgot. We got cool tickets cool, for people yeah. and call in after Santa we Cruz play Diner. This song. The Santa Cruz Diner, thirty dollars gift Santa certificate to the Santa Cruz Diner. Fantastic deals every day of the week, uh, but thirty dollars gift certificate. That's one hell of a deal. That's a great deal. That's a great Thanks deal. All, all you got to do is, is, is guess the title of the song. Title of this theme song right. from but, a great well, we got American one guy, television We got one guy program. who's called up before the, before we and made the announcement, so we should see what he wants. Or should we just hang up on him? We should uh, We should see what he wants. Okay, all right. Go for it, Dave. Caller, you're, you're in the air. Hey, yeah, this is Sam. I was uh, just calling in about a news subject right now. And uh, have you heard about the new male birth control pill that's come out? I read about I that earlier, that. yeah. Do you have any opinion on that? or Do I have an opinion what? on I think male it's fantastic. birth control? I think it's it's a little yeah. too late for... <laughs> uh, it's a little yeah. too late, though. It would have been nice to have that come out, you know, about 15 years ago. That would have been nice. I have not heard about this at all. Years ago. This is all news to me. That's great. Birth control is news I'm to me. excited. Yeah. And, um... I mean, I was first. My first thought was that it says it affects your testosterone levels. Mm -hmm. So, and I know you know I'm, I'm a little bit of an older guy as well. So, at this age, you really don't want lower testosterone. But right, um, yeah, I did see that article, Billy. Um, so, thank you for your call to four seven nine ten eighty. It is a a pill, I guess, that does something with your testosterone and, and gives a little guys not enough. 
and makes them really la lazy. Probably something that that Caitlyn Jenner fellow is taking. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. But I but think. Um, I think it's a great idea. I don't I mean, know if it's can, a good idea. Can you idea? imagine being able to go out there and, and, and being able to go out there and socialize with women and, and not have I to worry about out. pregnancies? I do, I do that now. I do that right now. I have absolutely no interest in sleeping with any of the ladies or the men for that matter. I'm not interested. I'm one of those people who's not interested. Really? <laughs> I'm totally serious about that. Wow. Absolutely. It's too much heartache, too many headaches. There's a lot of that. Uh, I've never been married. I avoided that bullet. Thank you very much. I've seen other friends of mine and they get married and then after a year they just they look like the old man of the sea. <laughs> Uh, it's not. It's rough. Yeah, it's tough. It it's hard rough. to be yeah. married because it's just very difficult. Uh, two different personalities coming together. I think people don't wait long enough uh, before they get married. Yeah, I think it, too time. often that's right. Getting to know the real person and all that. Yeah, and I think I think a lot of times it's because somebody does get pregnant. Usually the woman. Um, usually that, that these unless it's that Caitlyn these, Jenner that these they marriages gonna things, gonna... turn crappy, and that's why I think it's exciting that men are offered this birth control. I think it's exciting gives us I think more say. I don't have a problem with it, that. Yeah, it makes right. it available. Why not? We yes. should have more freedom in America, yes. more choices. I'm all about that. Me um, too. Yeah, I'm totally all about that. All right. Let's play that song and give these tickets away. Yeah, we're out of topic, so let's do this now. No, Perfect no, no, we're time. not out of topic. No. I have another topic. Okay, okay. We're talking about rolling Well, we, we only have 15 minutes, so we're almost out of time, so all we, right. we should we do this now. Minutes. Okay, go. All right, here we go. Dave. What? Have you been on the internet and seen ladies yes. on the internet? Yes. I am shocked. Uh, a couple nights ago, I learned this. I was uh, checking it out. Anyways, there's a lot of ladies on the internet, and I just I don't want to shock the audience, but they like to get naked up on the internet, and they're live streaming with their what? webcams and everything. This is bizarre. There's sites. Okay, there's sites. Now, here's the thing. It's just like they're strippers, except for they're online, and they're streaming out from, like, their, you know, apartment or wherever it is. But the thing that's strange about it is not that because, you know, men get lonely, as you were talking about before. They go yeah, out and they lonely, want to have yeah. a good time. So they go online, they watch these ladies. But the ladies are online for five or six hours straight. So, you know, many times you'll see them there uh, knitting <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm not making this up. And it's, uh, it's interesting. It's interesting. I was, of course, looking for, you know, research purposes. Right. Yes, of course. Because I knew I was coming in here today. And so, um, yeah, but there's a lot of that going on on the internet uh, with ladies. And again, I think uh, someday they're probably going to crack down on those al algorithms. Santa Cruz County will probably want to pass some tax to tax them. It'll be the, uh, the streaming, the, you know, streaming out of your apartment boob tax because um, they need to generate more revenue to protect the goby fish that's down there in the lagoon, <laughs> Dave. Is that goby fish down there still? No, we killed them all. We Man, them all I was it. I was out there before when you guys were live streaming all the time. I rented a little canoe, a little kayak thing. I was out there hunting goby fish, but I never saw one. I was out there for days, hours on end. I never. Good. I don't think they exist. Those bastards. I think it's a lie. I think the goby. Good. Fish I'm glad is a we lie. wiped them out. I'm glad we wiped them out. Okay, you ready to give away these tickets? Let's do it. Let's okay. play that song. So here we go. Here, here's the contest. Um, now are we going to do this again? We're going to play a song. Okay. TV theme. This is a TV theme song. All right. And Dave's probably going to play how many seconds? Maybe five seconds. Maybe 10, not even that. Maybe not even that. This is this is so easy. I mean, I should play just popular. Like half well, a second. famous American television yes. program. Yes. Here we go, Dave. Here we go. Roll you ready? Out. Ready. Okay. Here we go. There. Can anybody guess that? Uh, or should I play more? Yeah, a little more than that. A little more, Dave. All this right. Here we go. Here we go. Look. See, someone's already taking a shot. Oh. Someone's calling right now to take a I shot. I bet you they're just going to guess. Oh, no, they them. hung up. So, oh, See, now they know I'm going to play. Now they're calling again. Make up your mind. <laughs> I mean, come on, is that too much to ask? 479-1080-218-5726. Uh, okay, so tell them again what we're doing here. Right now we are looking for callers. We are looking for callers. We're giving away tickets to Santa Cruz Diner. We're going to play a theme song from a famous American television program. And Dave's going to play just a little bit more of it. And call in if you know what the song is and from what television program. So, yeah, as I was saying, there's a lot of uh, people uh, on the uh, Internet like that uh, live streaming out things. Dave is a little bit distracted at the moment. I'm a greenhorn here at KSCO. I'm co-piloting. I'm in with Dave at the moment. We're going to be giving away these tickets. I didn't realize that when I came in today, uh, Dave, I had to bring my own cans, man. 
the headphones. I first got in there, I sat down. Dave was like, did you bring your own headphones? I said, uh, I didn't even think about it, and I didn't. And then, of course, I looked down at the headphones, and they're, uh, they're uh, not of the best quality, Dave would probably say. So yeah, those ones suck. Those ones really suck. Yeah, I got to have my, I bring my own in. Yeah, I mean, you should. Big you puffy should. ones, like big pink ones yeah. that were on camera. Boy, the phones are lit. I mean, they are, they're, they're, All right. they, want, they might even they be want completely the free tickets. Let's they want the it. free tickets, and I just played, um, the, Not just, much just that little, se- yeah. I mean, how much was that? About a second? Yeah, that was maybe a two, uh, one note and a half, maybe. One and a half notes, right? Maybe that one was about all notes. it was. John, you're in the air. Yes, uh, Rockford Files. Oh, John. Yeah, dude, ding, what, ding, what ding, 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 ding. That was amazing. That was too easy. That was amazing. I wanted to hear the song. Now I don't get to hear the rest of the song. Yeah, John, you blew it. You screwed it up. Now we have to move on. No, just hang, hang in there, John. Don't, don't hang up, John. Don't hang All up. All right, are, thank are, you. Are you there? Okay, yeah, I'm going to place you on hold. We're going to listen to the song a little bit. Do not hang up. Okay, I got John's phone number. Okay, John, now I'm going to hang up on you. Uh, be sure to stop by here at KSEO Studios. And and you know what? Actually, call in the morning to find out if you pick them up here or at uh, at Santa Cruz Diner. But I have your, your phone number, so when you come here to pick them up, be sure to give them your phone number to verify that it is you. Uh, sound like a plan, John? John, are you there? John, are you there? Yes. Okay. Yes, I'm here. Okay, so that that's the uh, instructions. Come by to pick them up and, and be sure to give them your number because that's how we're going to verify that it was actually you that won them. Okay. All right. Okay. All con- right, thanks a lot, Dave. Sure, no problem. Congratulations. Damn, Billy, that was way easy, man. That was amazing. I cannot believe he was a, got easy. that so fast. A note and a half. Unbelievable. Oh, wow. If they had that thousand dollar pyramid where that game was back in the day, the sixties, he'd. Do you remember name that million. tune where you did you actually name do that stuff? Name that tune. That yes, was that a, was name great. That, tune. that was a, a good program. They should bring more uh, shows like that back. The old timey, uh, what have yous. The uh, Wheel of Fortune, of course, is still on, and I love. Probably my favorite show that's been on forever and ever is that guy uh, who's hosting now, Drew Carey. The Price is Right. Come on down. That's always a fun show, too. We need that more, is. more of that. So, Dave, have you ever, and I mean ever, heard of the fellow Bucky Fuller? Bucky Fuller. Bucky Fuller. Is that a porn star? <laughs> that, is not that? A, that is not a porn star. Bucky Fuller, and I'm not too versed in this, but he was a gentleman. Uh, I believe he was born in possibly the 20s or 30s. And he developed, among other things, the uh, geodesic dome, which we uh, see around Santa Cruz. is just quite popular, the geodesic dome homes. And the reason I'm bringing up Bucky Fuller is this Friday at Inner Light Ministries uh, on SoCal Drive. Uh, they're going to be playing a documentary on his life, and it was done by uh, Noel B. Murphy, and it's called... Oh, I know Noel uh, Murphy. Oh, you know Noel Murphy? Yeah. And it's called Bucky, uh, A Fuller Future, The Godfather of Green. And I believe there might be a cover charge. I should have brought notes. I don't know. If anyone's listening out there that's going to attend, please call in. But it's going to be uh, uh, interesting. He's a fascinating character. And this project, this film documentary that uh, Noel's been working on, I believe he's been working on it for almost eight years. So it's quite a culmination uh, coming together. And he's going to be out there also uh, yeah, he'll be Friday there. at 7 o'clock at Inner Light Ministries in SoCal, uh, on SoCal, off wow. SoCal Drive. That sounds great. Um, four seven nine one zero eight zero two one eight five seven two six. We are getting ready for the Will and Willie show, which will be coming up in about ten minutes. Keep it tuned in. That's Will Durst and Willie Brown. Uh, we'll be taking over the airwaves for an hour or so. Um, I bet you know Bucky Fuller by his full name, Dave. His fuller name? Buckminster Fuller. Yeah, Buckminster I, I, Fuller. I've that heard that name. Yeah. Buckminster Fuller. Oh, well, you should have said so. Oh, Everybody knows I'm that. Sorry. I, I like Made me look like I, some sort of simpleton that doesn't know uh, nothing. Dave, I apologize. I didn't have it written on my one note card here. So, yeah, on Friday, check, guys, check that out. This has been uh, great to come in here and be with Dave Michaels on Flight 1080 KSEO. I've just uh, been here for the day. Dave's going to have in a more host. Uh, who's coming in tomorrow, Dave? I forget. He forgets, but he's trying out other Danielle people. Danielle is going to be joining more us. more people, so contact Dave Michaels at his uh, email, dm at ksco.com. Chris Kilo? 
Chris Kilo is going to be coming on the air. He's a uh, he Thursday. does music, right? I forgot yes, yes. He does music before. Um, yes, and Todd Anderson is going to be joining us on Friday. Todd Anderson on yes. Friday. Cool. And if you want to come on down to KSEO Radio and be on Flight 1080 uh, in the air here with Dave Michaels, Fire him off uh, an email there. Yeah, I got a few votes for you, too, here, Billy. So A couple of votes for me. Cool. Yes. Cool. I hope I get at least one vote other than my mother that's listening. No, it was her. I appreciate her. <laughs> she, she voted three times. So, <laughs> Perfect. Uh, yeah. Gordy, line one, you're in the air. Yeah, my vote's for Billy, and so is Jan. Uh, you're talking about Buckmaster Fuller. Um, they're probably the biggest invention besides his geodesic gnomes and so forth, in which I'm living in one. It's is that small right? One, but it's what you call buckyballs. Uh, it's a way of arranging carbon atoms into the hardest substance known. It's harder than a diamond. Is that uh, right? Interesting. Yeah, yeah, I've not all, heard of this. Yeah, buckyballs. It's a way of arranging the carbon atoms so they all fit perfectly in this one integrated sphere that's impenetrable. Interesting. So that's my two cents worth. But yeah, you need another nickname there. I don't. I don't think Billy the Goat is. I gotta change my name, Dave. Everybody, somebody gotta change my name. <laughs> Thank you for your call, Gordy. Four seven nine ten eighty. I always thought myself. Bucky Balls was some kind of medical condition. Bucky. <laughs> right. That's weird. Possibly. Four seven nine ten eighty. Oh, look, out look. in the ocean too long. Look who yeah. this is. Uh, MZ is joining us. MZ, thank you for your call. It's MZ, the you head honcho. Cracking me up today. That was amazing. You know, I, I, I need some belly laughs, and you've given me plenty of them. Hey, here I am uh, at the Mars Theater on Valencia in San Francisco, uh, where um, I, I don't think they've ever done this before. I don't think they've ever had a Will and Willie show that was wasn't pre-recorded. This is going to be live, and it also happens to be. Willie Brown's 84th anniversary of his birth today. See, pretty cool. Well, is he going to make it birthday. through the show? A happy birthday uh, to him. Yeah, yeah. And so, uh, yeah, Billy is up here. He's very, very nervous because... As uh, he should be. <laughs> <laughs> Bill he's got some real pros there that he's got to compete with now. Well, well so, no, here's the deal. I mean, he, he, was, he came up here to do the uh, live broadcast to make sure it it went through without a hitch, and and now because I'm promoing it and talking about it, it's probably certainly we're going to have egg on our face tonight. But what <laughs> right. the hell? Whatever happens, happens. Um, but uh, he got he got roped into doing all of the audio for everything, so I think that's what he's really nervous about. You know, in a, in a theater he's never even been in before. So oh, it's very. Let's, let's all let's all root for Billy. Uh, by the way, Billy are. Bi uh, the other Billy, who's there with Dave for the first time today, having a lot of fun getting emails saying uh, they like listening to you. They don't like Dave very much, but they like you. Everybody <laughs> loves good. Dave. That's really... I know, I know. We, we just don't want to get his head. It's going. awesome that you guys are live streaming out that uh, comedy. That seems to be a trend with a lot of comics now. They're uh, doing that live streaming uh, out their live performances from theaters, and that's very exciting. That seems to be uh, the wave of the future there to get well, not just, and, you know. and Will Durst is here, and I just talked to, uh, uh, via email, I talked with Fred Reese, who was on uh, Flight 1080 yesterday for a while, right, mm -hmm. Dave? And, yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, he, he was. He had a wonderful time, and, uh, and everybody knows him up here, too. He's not here, but uh, I, I, he sent me an email. I sent him an email back, said I'm going to give you... Uh, your your um, your regards to uh, to Will uh, uh, Willie Brown and Will Durst and uh, Paul the Lobster Wells, who's the producer of this whole affair here. So, anyhow, um, if anybody is around uh, San Francisco here, come on, join us here. It's going to be on live until uh, seven on KFC. Otherwise, enjoy us. Sounds good, MZ. Okay. All right, fabulous, Thanks. MZ. Thanks for calling in. Have a good time out there. Bye bye. Four seven nine one zero eight zero two one eight five seven two six. Let's check our text messages. I don't want to vote before I've heard everybody, but Billy is great. Well, I really appreciate that. Thank you for that vote of confidence. And I want to hear uh, the other guests come on, too. I, I want everybody to be great that comes on here. I want KSCO to be a, uh, the awesome radio station that it is and can be. It's a fabulous resource for the community and, with, uh, you know, this type of radio station across the country. And probably a lot of listeners know this is uh, dying by the wayside fastly. And it's a shame to see. And I think we're going to see a renaissance uh, come around here shortly. And that's what I'm keeping my uh, fingers crossed and toes crossed for.
Two one eight five seven two six. Damn, Bailey, we got two minutes left, and I don't we got know. Two we minutes, got, that's not vacillate. enough time. What are we gonna do? Well, before I came in here, I had to go to CVS, right? You ever go to that CVS in Watsonville, the one off of Main Street? I try time, not to go there. When every, I live right by there. Every though. time I go in there, man, I try to buy like one or two items, right? And it's like a black hole. I get to the line, the front of the line, and it takes three hours. Now, everybody complains that comments talk about oh, the line is so long, this and everything, but that's not it. It takes forever, right? I buy one mm-hmm. item. By the time I leave, I'm walking out of the CVS. I've got a receipt that's 45 feet long and it's for what i bought a stick of gum it's pure insanity and i got all these coupons for things i don't need coupons for uh, douching and whatnot it's insane it's too much cvs you need to mellow out on that if somebody out there that is connected with cvs is listening seriously you gotta stop doing that it's not right and you're you're wasting resources in santa cruz county that's paper hey think ecologically and uh tighten it up recycle it Let's get to 2018, 2018, Flight 1080, Dave Michaels and your co-host, Billy Army. You'll probably never see me again, but maybe you will. And it's been a great time. It really has, Dave. Thanks for having me. Thank uh, you, Billy. Thank time. you, man. Thank you for joining us. We'll give you another call. And, and uh, yeah, we're, we're looking for, for help, Billy. So, That's uh, awesome. Cool. We'd we'll love to have you working here more. It'd be great, man. 479 Let me know what you think about Billy, uh, Fred, Chris. Um, um, I Tanner, forgot his name Tanner too. and Griffin. I, you got so many names there, Dave. It's amazing you can keep track of so many things at once. And I'm not even supposed to be here. I'm just kind of here. Dave's doing a fantastic job. So he forgets one name. It happens. He's a maniac. He's uh, juggling pies all over the place. All right. Thank you, Billy. Okay, we're going to head out to SRN News. Three minutes of that, and then we'll be joining Will and Willie up in San Francisco. Keep it. He has made into the big suits with the long.